Hey guys, you know those weeks you have when everything's going your way? <laughs> this has not been one of them. I had some blessed weeks. Today is still blessed, but everything hurts. My head hurt, my hip hurt, my knee hurt, my leg hurt. It's just too much. It's just too much. But that's all right. I'm still blessed. I'm still going to keep going. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Pat. Therefore, getting back to Pat, it's all about a weight loss journey, a health journey, a return to self journey, just getting your life together. I've come from 420 pounds of morbid obesity. I'm not in the fours anymore. I was in the threes for decades. I mean, seriously, decades. I'm not in the threes anymore. So I'm I'm doing it. I'm getting there. It's a journey that takes everything you got, everything you think you got, everything you think you don't have. It takes a lot to lose weight, to try to get your health back after so many years of being on the wrong side of it. But we're going to do it. I tried me another fish this week. I tried flounder. Man, they cut fish so thin these days. I don't know how they get it that thin. I think with the slicer for cold cuts because it was so thin but it was good and then I had to go shopping because I didn't have anything left in the house so you know me and Wally World here we go again I started out getting me some protein drinks I like the muscle milk that's already pre-made even though I like the powder too so I got the vanilla one and I got the chocolate the chocolate I can drink by itself the vanilla I put in my coffee and I got some protein bars because I like protein bars and snacks. So I just went around the store pick, picking up a few things. Uh, I wanted some veggies. So I went and got me some veggies. I think I got broccoli and I got uh, okra because I had greens. So I wanted some okra to go with my greens. Yeah, I like okra. <laughs> Bald, slimy, I like okra. So I got broccoli, I got okra. And then I wanted to try buying beans and cooking them fresh. You guys know that beans are very quite expensive now. <laughs> I was shocked that beans are like $5 for a bag of frozen beans that you got to go home and prepare yourself. But anyway. Beans? I really was shocked at the price. But you know what? You can't be shocked at anything these days. Prices are just outrageous, so you just got to go for it. You either got to buy it or you don't. <laughs> you got to eat or you don't. Anyway, and then I bought some uh, veggies. I already cut up my onion and my pepper. So I love using bell pepper and onion. This time I bought it already mixed. So I don't know. I felt something coming on. I just didn't know what it was. And I had no idea it would be a cold. Even though I got a little one in the house and it brought a cold home from school. But anyway, I've been fighting my, you know, just fighting, trying not to get anything. But I'm, I'm hit with it. It's okay. I'm going to keep going. It'll knock you down for a second, but then if you get up, you can keep going. And that's what I'm going to do. So I kept going through the store. And basically, you guys, I just got the basics like I always get. I got milk so I can bake cornbread for my husband. I got uh, eggs so I eat eggs. I boil the egg and eat an egg. I mean, some things I don't show you guys I eat. I wish I was smart enough to go on and, and <laughs> record everything. But sometimes I just, I'll make boiled eggs or I'll do, you know, things like that. Oh, and for those of you who say I don't lock down my purse, it was a great idea to lock your purse in the little child security lock. Uh, it'd probably be good too if you zip it. I don't know. Sometimes I go in and I'm not worried about it and I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> but it was locked. It just wasn't zipped. <laughs> but anyway, I found eggs and I'm going to just let you go through and see some of the other things I picked up. Some things I have to pick up for my house. Sometimes I pick up things for uh, the hubby, the kids, whoever. But let me just let you watch.
you guys know some of these household things can eat up your budget. When you gotta buy dishwashing liquid, dishwashing detergent, laundry detergent, the dryer sheets, the, I mean, all kinds of things can eat up your budget. Especially when you're on a limited budget. I hate talking about money sometimes because everybody's having issues. But when you're on a limited budget or when you're on a set budget, it's a whole different story on what you'll pick up and what you won't. <laughs> but anyway, some things that just the household likes, so I try to get. And some things I just leave on the wayside. Yeah, I picked up my canned beans, and you know why from earlier. But anyway, it's easier to get it like this when I'm going to be the only one eating it, or, you know, it's going to be a one-time thing. Because when you cook a whole pot of beans, you're responsible for eating that whole pot of beans. So I, I like buying a can of this, a can of that, a can of this, a can of that. So I don't waste. I was checking out the prices of the salmon because you know I like salmon any day, every day of the week. But I decided, okay, huh, let's try something different this week. I had salmon and fish and all for the last two, three, four weeks, it seems like, and it's been doing good for me. I've really been eating healthy off that fish. This time I wanted to try some chicken. The only thing about that is you get the <laughs> them cheapest chickens you can so I bought I think I got a bag of chicken drumsticks as I do them in the air fryer and I got some chicken tenders cause I think I bought the fajita yeah I'm gonna do the bell pepper fajita mix like I did before in the air fryer with the chicken tenders so we'll have something different this week Hopefully I'll be well enough to bring you the video to show you how it comes out. All right, let's finish this shopping trip and go get to today's weigh-in. So this was last Wednesday. 284.6. That is excellent. I'm so proud of myself. Hey, guys. It is Thursday the 7th. Oh, my God. I feel like crappity crap, 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 crap. Let's see what the weight is. Yesterday, I couldn't get out of bed to take it. 284. I think that's where it was last week. But I'll take it. Hey guys. I'm told it's the 6th. So it's Thursday the 6th. Whew. Jesus. Two eighty Upstairs it was 284.4. So I'm 284. So I'm um, 284, the same as last week. After some weeks of some big five pound drops, I'm not mad. The same as last week, I didn't go up. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. And it's been such a rough week health wise and everything else that I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going to keep on. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I'm not stopping. That's just a bump in the road that says, okay, you're on the right track. Because if I wasn't, I would have gained weight. <laughs> right? So anyway, we're going to keep it going. You got this. I got this. We got this. We never giving up. We never quitting. We never stopping. When things happen like this and it all comes on you at one time, it tries to knock you out. It tries to knock you down. But if you get up and keep fighting, you win. Like I said, we win because we never quit. And that that's what we're going to do. We never quit. We got this. Because I used to be 420 pounds. And now I'm not. 
Guys, please like, share, subscribe, and come back for the next video. I won't be sick then. This is over with.